day and we're talking again to uh, coach Rod Reed uh, who is the head coach of the Tennessee State University uh, football Tigers. Uh, coach Reed let's uh, allow you over the uh, next uh, the rest of this segment to talk about what you uh, consider to be some of the uh, challenges that uh, you as a head coach uh, feel that you face in dealing with uh, 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 the uh, Tennessee State University football program. Uh, some of the fans, uh, some of the alumni, uh, some of those uh, fundraising, what, whatever you wish to uh, deal with during that, this uh, period, try to pull all of that information okay. together well, for us. Well, well, first of all, I think that, uh, you know, over the years, I've been a part of Tennessee State football for a long time. And over the years, our fans are very passionate about, about uh, football. And uh, they're very passionate about winning. <laughs> uh, and, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but with winning uh, uh, comes the kind of support that you really need from your fan base. Uh, uh, you know, oftentimes some of the challenges are, are fundraising. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we, we have an athletic budget that we use, but you have to understand that athletic budget encompasses travel. It encompasses recruiting. Uh, it, it encompasses scholarships. It encompasses room and board. So now when you start talking about, well, your recruiting budget and, and sometimes you get kind of limited in some things that you can do for your team mm -hmm. because the money just isn't there. And that's mm -hmm. no fault of the universities. Mm -hmm. That's no fault of uh, 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 the coaching staff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's where the fundraising mm -hmm. becomes mm -hmm. uh, important. Uh, a lot of times you talk with, with the, the bigger schools and they say, well, you know, they can, they can hire a staff and they can name them in the same day and, mm -hmm. and all this. Now, we have to go through a process at mm -hmm. the university when we're naming our staff. We have mm -hmm. to interview a certain amount of people. We have to mm -hmm. uh, have a pool. We have to pick from those pools. It has to go to EEOC. Uh, and, and then you have to make recommendations. Then you have to interview three or four people from that pile. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of red tape that goes on mm -hmm. that is just university policy. Mm -hmm. Whereas at, at University of Tennessee or let's say Memphis, a lot of the coaches' salaries are going to come, University of Alabama, mm -hmm. from outside sources. sources. That, that, that's not university involved. So, so that's, that's what explains all those. Uh, right. They can bring guys in and say, hey, we're going to pay this guy, pay this guy. And it doesn't have anything university. It has to do with mm -hmm. either the booster club or some kind of outside outside source that will take care of that. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm, I'm in the process of coming up with some fundraising ideas uh, to, to try to solicit uh, and, and involve the community in what we're trying to do at Tennessee mm -hmm. State University because it does cost money mm -hmm. to run a program. Mm -hmm. It costs more money than is allotted by our budget mm -hmm. to run our mm -hmm. program. So we have to be diligent in fundraising and mm -hmm. going out and, and, and talking to people about giving to Tennessee mm -hmm. State University. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so those are some of the, the challenges that I've seen this far, but I, I also know this. I know that there are people out there willing to help Good. and that want to help mm -hmm. and, uh, I, I, and some resources that we haven't tapped into mm -hmm. yet. So that's going to be that partly my challenge for, uh -huh. that I haven't asked. Ask. Yeah, yeah, we it. haven't uh -huh. asked for mm -hmm. So uh, that's going to be one of my, my, my tasks and, and, and one of my uh, uh, projects here at Tennessee State University early on is to, to uh, you know, to rally fan support. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, to be seen and more visible in the community, mm -hmm. to do some community outreach programs with our football staff as mm -hmm. well as our team, mm -hmm. uh, uh, be more visible in the community. Uh, those are things that we've talked about uh, as a staff. Those are some of the things that I've shared with Dr. Johnson and, and Ms. Mm -hmm. Phillips as my vision where, where this program is going to mm -hmm. go. And, and they've been nothing but supportive uh, yeah. of mm -hmm. what uh, we're trying to do thus far. Mm -hmm. So uh, I really, really feel strong about what we're trying to do. Uh, I really, really feel strong about what we're going to get accomplished mm -hmm. here. I think that, uh, uh, you know, this is going to be the, the start of something great. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, I have a passion for this job. The coaching staff will have a passion for this job. Mm -hmm. And uh, the bottom line is get it done. Every great leader ultimately gets results. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, you know, I always tell my guys, bottom line, I don't want all the labor pains. Just give me the baby. Yeah. You know? and so, so, so you're really just uh, proud to be uh, the head coach of the Tennessee State University football team. Oh, absolutely. Coach, is that right? Absolutely. Uh -huh. And it shows. It, it really shows. And, and, and I think that uh, uh, with some of the things that... Uh, 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 you are bringing to this uh, program in terms of fundraising activities and et cetera. I think that that will play a very, very important part for people to recognize that uh, it is important that sure. uh, they support uh, Tennessee State University and that the uh, state budget, uh, the money from which uh, uh, we get uh, the state funds, is really not uh, 
uh, hardly adequate in a real right. sense for just educational things and et cetera. Even though and, and you know, it, it's not the, the fundraising isn't just for football. Mm -hmm. It's for the education of our student mm -hmm. athletes. It's for summer school. Mm -hmm. It's to to be able to enhance recruiting, to be able to branch out mm -hmm. in some of the areas up north that we normally can't mm -hmm. get to. Detroit, uh, where we have a great mm -hmm. fan alumni base up there. Mm -hmm. D.C. Well, we have a great alumni base up there. So those are the kind of areas that we're trying to get to, but we need funding and we need monies to be mm -hmm. able to do that. So uh, I'm, I'm not going to sit on my tail and wait for somebody to bring it to me. I'm mm -hmm. going to go out and get it along with my staff. Well, now, when you get ready to travel with your uh, uh, team, Coach, I, I, you got a, 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 a large number of individuals, uh, football teams themselves, you know, a large mm -hmm. number of individuals. Uh, uh, what, what are some of the ways that you move this team from here to Memphis? Uh, for example? Well, you know, and, and it's kind of uh, it's kind of ironic that you ask that because everything we do is very systematic. Uh, uh, we we have itineraries for everything we do. We from the time we board the bus to the time we get to the hotel, mm -hmm. or the time we go to practice, the time we go to get, we're moving. Boom, 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 boom. And when you're moving, uh, you know in excess of 100 people. Mm -hmm. You know, it, you really have to be very meticulous in what, you, what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You really uh, uh, have to have a, a system in place that works. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I think that a lot of times people think that we just show up and play yeah, on uh, Saturday, okay. get on the bus uh -huh. and go home. But mm -hmm. there's, you know, there's a lot of things that are involved when you're traveling. Mm -hmm a team uh, uh you know you, you have chapel in there mm -hmm. you, you you wake up you eat breakfast you have a walk through uh you mm -hmm. have some downtime you have a meeting you got film then you have chapel then you have pregame meal and mm -hmm. you have to board the bus everything is done on, yeah, the, time on, on the time schedule, schedule. and there's an itinerary for uh, friday saturday and sunday for even when we get back on the trip so mm -hmm. it, it, it's really uh a lot more than what people mm -hmm, see. Mm -hmm. uh, they think we kind of just show up on Saturday, mm -hmm. get off the bus, and go do something. But our, mm -hmm. our kids put a lot of time and effort in mm -hmm. what we're trying to do mm -hmm. because we have a 20-hour work week that we have mm -hmm. to deal with that we can only practice 20 hours, and we have to give them one day off a week. Mm -hmm. So uh, those, those kids are going to study hall mm -hmm. during that time. You know, they have weights, they have practice, and they have meetings. So, so it's not just an easy time no, of it's, just it, rolling you know, around. It, it, and, and, and people always ask me, say, athletes think they're special. I said they are. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, the, the, regu discipline the regular is, student can, you know, uh, wake up at noon, take mm -hmm. a 1 o'clock class and go from 1 to 6. Most athletes have to have 8 o'clock classes. Mm -hmm. You know, they have to get up, they have to go to class because the classes have to be done by 2 o'clock so they can attend meetings, mm -hmm. weights, football practice, and mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and uh, training table, or what we have uh, for dinner that night. So and study hall sometimes at night. So uh, it's, it's really systematic what they do. They, they are special kids, uh, and, and mm -hmm. you know, we try to treat them as such. But mm -hmm. we also understand that there's a certain discipline that has to be involved in your program. Mm -hmm. There's a, uh, uh, time management, mm -hmm. and there's a, 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 a certain amount of respect that has to be mm -hmm. given from us to our players mm -hmm. and our players to the faculty. Mm -hmm and whoever else is on campus that demands that respect. Coach, over the last uh, two minutes, and I always ask this question, uh, uh, have you got any prospects in terms of going to the National Football uh, uh, League, and, and what do you think is necessary in order to move from uh, where you are, your level, uh, and move a student from your level to uh, a student, as you have uh, Roger Cromartie, I mm -hmm. think. Uh, uh, Jabari uh, Williams. Yes. Uh, uh, what, 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 can you tell people what is necessary in order to do that for them to get uh, some yeah, kind of... You know, I, I think that uh, the facilities, we, we got a great indoor facility that's about to go up here at Tennessee State University in the next uh, couple of months. But, you know, facilities, that's what kids look at. They're in the ESPN era these days. They see what's on TV. They want what's tangible to them. So when they see good things and nice things around campus, those are what draw student athletes to the campus. But we have to continue to do a good job of recruiting those athletes. Uh, and I think the, the one kid that you can probably keep an eye out this is Anthony, Anthony Levine. Mm -hmm. He was our free safety. Uh, he's been getting a lot of uh, mm -hmm. uh, NFL scouts come through inquiring about mm -hmm. him. And uh, mm -hmm. hopefully he'll get to play in, in one of these all-star games and be able to show what he can do. But I think he's a fine young man. Uh, mm -hmm. He's going to graduate on time, mm -hmm. and uh, we're really, really proud of him. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, we'll have several more over the next two years that I think uh, uh, we, mm -hmm. <laughs> we got a junior class that's going to uh -huh. be really good also. Okay, and very good. Coach, let me, uh, uh, we're near the end of the show for today, and let me thank you for coming by and giving us that very, very excellent information in reference to uh, some of the prospects in reference to the uh, team. 
And of course, let me encourage our audience to uh, tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good morning.